Hey, what's up guys? Matt Cage here and welcome to another video. I'm so sorry I haven't got a video out in quite a while on my channel. I've been very busy with hockey as well as school. Um, I've hardly had any time to play RuneScape, let alone make a video. But I thought I would have the chance this morning to get one out for you guys. So the video I'm going to bring to you guys today is the top 5 easiest pets in old school RuneScape. A lot of you like the top 5 hardest pets to get in old school, so you guys wanted to see an easy one. So here it is. I hope you guys enjoy this one. If you do, please leave a like and also subscribe to my YouTube channel. One thing before I begin the video is if you look on the right hand side you will see suggested videos before you exit my video please click one of these videos it helps the youtube algorithm in essence just put my video out there to more people so yeah thanks guys number five coming in at number five is the pet kraken the pet kraken can be obtained from the kraken at a one in three thousand drop rate the kraken can only be killed on a cave kraken task which makes it harder for players to camp the pet you can kill 65 Krakens per hour, which gives us approximately 46.15 efficient hours on average to receive the pet. The Kraken is a common block task for many efficient slayers, which means that the pet is actually not as commonplace in the game as you would think, making it an okay pet to actually have. Number 4 Jat, originally released in 2005, still remains a popular boss today in old school RuneScape. Jad drops the best melee caping game, which gives plus 4 strength and plus 11 defensive stats, making it very popular for both mains and peers to obtain. Jad has a 1 in 200 chance of dropping what is called the Tuz Rez Jad Pet. However, this drop rate can reduce to 1 in 67 if you choose to roll on the drop table in both ways. You can roll on it from 1 killing Jad itself and 2 from gambling a fire cape. At 1.5 kills per hour on average, which assumes 40 minute trips, Jad takes approximately 44.67 efficient hours to get. Number 3 at number 3 we have Scorpius Offspring. Scorpius Offspring has a 1 in 2000 drop rate. To 2 PKers, this pet can actually be somewhat of a nuisance to get. In terms of efficiency, expect approximately 45 kills per hour on average. This takes 44.44 efficient hours to get, which is just slightly less than the Jad pet itself. You'll have no issue finding a world, as the place is super dead today, as most people who wanted the pet already have it, and those of you who don't have it are just too annoyed to return because of PKers. Number 2 the second wilderness boss pet to make it on our list, and coming in at number 2 is the pet Chaos Elemental. The pet Chaos Elemental has two different ways a player can receive the pet, one from the Chaos Elemental boss at a 1 in 300 drop rate, or two from the Chaos Fanatic at a 1 in 1000 drop rate. These events are mutually exclusive, and unlike Jad, a player receives no benefit of using both methods at the same time in an attempt to get the pet. Therefore, it is most efficient just camping the Chaos Elemental. The Chaos Elemental can be safe spotted as you can see, and a player can get roughly 30 kills per hour on average. Therefore, only approximately 12 and a half hours is needed to obtain the pet. Number 1 Clipper, give me a drum roll, please. Coming in at number 1 on our top 5 easiest pets countdown is the Chompy Chick. The Chompy Chick can only be obtained by players who have completed the Elite Western Provinces Diary. The drop rate of the pet is 1 in 500, and a player's roll on the drop table occurs when the bird is plucked. You can get up to 300 kills per hour, which means that it only takes 1.67 hours on average to get the pet. The most efficient way to kill Chompy Birds is by using Void Range, so use that to speed up your kills per hour. If you want a pet just for the sake of having one, this is the easiest pet to get, so go get it and good luck. Well guys, this completes yet another video of the top 5 easiest pets to get in old school RuneScape. Before I conclude, I just want to quickly shout out two people. The first person I want to shout out is Clipper. Clipper has been an amazing friend, probably my best friend on old school RuneScape since its release in 2013. And he's been giving me quite a few top 5 video ideas, including the top 5 hardest pets, which actually the top 5 easiest pets stem from it. So shout out to you, my dude. The second person I want to thank is Charles. Charles has been a great friend as well for over three years and he has been the person who has provided all the information I need to make these pet videos. He has an awesome spreadsheet that I'll link down below, so be sure to check that out as well. Finally, if you guys really like what I'm doing here, please be sure to leave a like and comment. It's always encouraging to see what you guys have to say. If you have any other video ideas, specifically top five video ideas that you want to see, be sure to leave those down on the comment section and I'll get to them. Also guys, just a friendly reminder, if you guys really enjoyed what I'm doing here, 
be sure to click the suggested videos out on the right hand side. This will basically improve the YouTube algorithm for YouTube to suggest my videos to an audience that I don't have. So that helps me really grow as a YouTuber. Thank you guys so much as always for the continued support. We'll see you guys soon. Peace.